Hi guys, so if you want to take the retractable belts out of your cake room, first thing you need to do is jack the car up, take the rear wheels off. Then you'll see this panel here with these rivets. You need to gently and carefully drill out these rivets. You only need to drill them enough so you snap the head off, uh, which I've got in my hand here. There you go, so you just need to snap that off and then you can get the rest of the rivet out afterwards. You might have to pull it off because it's gonna be painted in as well. So I've taken that off on the other side and I've taken the belt out, but I will quickly walk you through how to do it. So that's what it looks like with everything out. Um, you'll notice that it's been siliconed in. So first thing you need to do is using a standy blade score down this side because you need to separate it from the paint you can see that I didn't quite do it enough so that paint is now flaky where I've pried it off so make sure you use a nice sharp blade slice it down there then run try and run the standy blade in and all the way around to cut as much of the silicone back as possible then I used just a wallpaper scraper got it got it in there at an angle and and just tried to prise it off of this without bending the actual uh, panel itself which I've managed to do a good job of thankfully because that would have annoyed me and um, you can easily get to this bit but when you get to this bit you've got a you can you can get this bit off with a wallpaper scraper but then what I had to do was get my hands underneath and then sort of just pry it back gently all the way up and it just comes off in the end so obviously I'm going to clean all this off and put new on when I pull it back. Um, I'm gonna to put too much on so it squirts out the side just to cover the where the paint chips and I'll just run it down. You're not gonna see it because it's behind the wheel anyway. I just don't want it to, um, I just don't want exposed bodywork. Um, then you've got a nut at the back here, you can see. Now, you could take out the rear suspension. I did not want to do that. So I managed to find a spanner that was thin enough, 17 mil. Um, to get on that but there's a nut on the other side as well so 17 mil socket on that side it's pretty it's pretty tight but you can get it off especially if you've got somebody up to help you um, you won't get it in without pulling out so you need to literally unwind the retractable belt because there's not enough room otherwise so I just unwound it and wrapped it around the headrest you will it looks like you won't be able to do this but you can actually thread these through the hole they are um very tight but you can get them through so i haven't had to cut the belt in any way it's perfect i can use it again if i want it um i'm probably going to leave the bolt in there obviously because i can't get it out because of the suspension but obviously there's a hole there as well so i'm just going to try and do that back up nice and tight and then put the cover back on it so if like me you uh it, you've got carpet in the back and it bothers you that you've got a hole there i've come up with a nifty solution and you can buy these uh online just like they're just velcro um badges really um like for rucksacks that is exactly the right size just to go over that and cover it and it's not that it doesn't stick out that much i'll put a link in the description to where you can get these um but you can just get them off amazon just put in a backpack velcro sticker or something like that and it will come up so obviously it's pretty obvious how to undo the rest of the belt got a bolt there bolt down the bottom there bolt behind that there are already screw holes for a harness in here obviously you need to take out the boot cover and pull that back so I want to keep all that so I'm probably going to um, heat something up and melt through it so that there isn't a there isn't any tears in it because I don't want over time for that tear to, to creep across so I'm going to use something hot that's just big enough uh, for the bolt to fit through so that it's sort of sealed as well at the same time 
Um, although, thinking about that now, that's got a piece of um, uh, metal in there. So I'm probably going to have to drill through that. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that now, thinking about it. Unless, of course, I put... What I might do is I might put the... Um, no, I can't do that either. I was going to say I'd put the belt underneath, but it doesn't matter still. I've still got to get the bolt for it. I'll think about that later. But basically, that's how, that's how you do it, guys. I hope that helps someone.